What's the worst feature in PowerPoint? Well, this question can launch some very animated and heated conversations. There's a reason why we hear a phrase, death by PowerPoint. But of all the good and bad features in PowerPoint, I think the worst one is auto fit. Let's look at how you can improve your PowerPoint presentations and be more effective by simply changing one option. The auto fit feature in PowerPoint is actually designed to intentionally, on purpose, shrink the size of lengthy slide titles and bullet text as more and larger amounts of text is added to a slide. Now the reality is, auto fit encourages too much text on a slide. So for this bullet slide, it's actually readable, it doesn't have too many items, the size of the text fits what was laid out within the slide master, but with AutoFit turned on, we're more likely to see slides like this. So the title is actually smaller in size and the bullets are significantly smaller with way too much text. So the reality is AutoFit encourages way too much text on a slide, even though some of the top complaints from audiences of PowerPoint presentations are that the slides are packed with text and the text is too small to read. So even though it is a default feature in PowerPoint, AutoFit reinforces terrible habits in slide design by allowing text that's too small for presentation and allowing too much text. You can actually work with AutoFit directly from the text. It just might not be very obvious. As you might be adding the text, there is a smart tag that pops up and it's pretty subtle, but it's in the corner here. So this is AutoFit Options. And this includes the options to stop fitting the text, splitting the text between two slides, continuing on a new slide, or changing to two columns. Now we always want to kind of back up and decide too that maybe we don't need that much content. Are there ways to streamline the text? So it might not just be breaking the text into two different slides, but are there ways to simplify it? What would happen if we pick stop fitting text to this placeholder? <laughs> now we see that we really do have too much. So this brings the text back to the defaults that are set within the slide master, which makes it pretty clear that we have way too much information. We can also turn off this feature from this smart tag under the feature control auto correct options. But there's another way to get to this as well. And that is by picking file, options, and then proofing. You might be more familiar with proofing for spelling and grammar, but it also includes auto correct options. From here, we move to, if necessary, the auto format as you type tab. And this is where you might see some answers to why your text sometimes changes. For instance, straight quotes to smart quotes. Our focus though is to turn off auto fit title text to placeholder and auto fit body text to placeholder. Rather than needing to remember to make that adjustment, let's not even let it happen in the first place. And maybe you're not the offender. Perhaps it's a colleague or your boss. How can you encourage them to make these changes as well? Even though it's a default, let's turn off auto fit so that you can create more effective, easier to read text slides. For other PowerPoint tips, head to thesoftwarepro.com slash PowerPoint and subscribe to this channel for more tips. This is Don Bjork, the Software Pro. Thanks for watching.